very big news here. BlackBerry actually said they like they 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 quit everything with smartphone, but they just announced that they will launch a wait for it <laughs> a 5G smartphone with a keyboard. Wow, in 2022. And finally, I can read the headline here in the news saying like, why do we actually need a keyboard in 2022? <laughs> and why is this so funny? It's funny because in 2011, I can remember, when you told someone, okay, we're gonna buy, I had a company back then, like refurbishing phones, we're gonna buy the Blackberries from you. And then they said like, yeah, but, what should people use? An iPhone without a keyboard? Wow. So, if you don't know me yet, my name is Christoph. I run this channel. I'm the CEO of Blackboard, a company which is focused on communication and collaboration when it comes to team, everything working together and I share ideas and thoughts as an entrepreneur and tech geek and lover. And we talk about today about what is the future of the keyboard or anything that we need for communicating in an asynchronous way. And there are people out there still using BlackBerry and BlackBerry was super successful as a company. But when times change as a company, you also have to adapt and they kind of missed that point. Sort of. Well, start focusing on security and um, our experience, as I said, more than 10 years ago was that it was very, very, very difficult to change the habit of people who were using keyboards. And I had a keyboard on my Nokia phone as well. It was called the Nokia E71 or something. Then I had the Nokia communicator, you know, this thing which you can then flip and open. And there are many ways to communicate. The new Nokia Communicator lets you choose the one that's best for you. It's a mobile phone and email, the internet and a fax, all working together. You now have the Galaxy Fold, which do the same thing, but well, different story. And what I found was that the most difficult thing is to change the habit of someone. You actually had a keyboard with your smartphone for Quite a long time. I, I use keyboards. Okay, sorry, sorry, that's, that's a true point. I use keyboards. I use keyboards. My point here is that in 2011, when we came up and said like, why don't you use a smartphone? You say like, we need a keyboard. Now you say, why don't you use a keyboard on your phone from time to time? Yeah, but I have an iPhone, I don't want that. Give speech to text, I don't want to use that. And now you, we come up with the next topic, which is VR glasses. I should hold on, I, I get them, I get them. Now you come up and with the, with the metaverse thing, but like how would you use your keyboard now? It's like kind of, also that you look quite, kind of stupid wearing these things, but if this is the next frontier, what does the next keyboard look like? And Mark Zuckerberg presented something in um, the launch video when Facebook became meta. So at first, that input is going to just be around enabling basic gestures, click, scroll, select, but as the technology evolves, EMG input could potentially unlock full-speed typing and it could give you subtle, personalized controls that you can use in any situation. You always need kind of a way to type, but having a physical keyboard on a smartphone makes up a kind of weird screen size, that's a thing. So you lose a lot of, of, of uh, screen property and people are almost as fast as with a physical keyboard. But as I said, my point here is, it will be very, very, very hard to change the habit of people being used to a thing like this and change that to something like this and carry it around. So we will stick at least another 10 years, I would say, with these things here before we switch to anything else because it now took more than 10 years to finally read a headline from a major newspaper 
why do you actually need a keyboard in 2022? That's my point here. And um, I would be interested in what you guys think because there is so much happening at the moment in technology that it's kind of difficult to keep an overview, I think. But as I said in one of the last videos already, I'm quite excited how much experiments are happening and trying like Samsung with a fold and with a flip that we tested in the metaverse. Let's wait what Apple does this year. Maybe they come up with something. Let's see. Are you doing a review of the BlackBerry phone? <laughs> oh God. Um, I have a, the, 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 the partner of a good friend of mine. Um, she is a BlackBerry heavy user. I will ask her if I can borrow her BlackBerry. I will not buy a BlackBerry or will not ask BlackBerry to make a review, but I will ask her if I can make a review. How about that? Is that okay? Can I record that review on my iPhone? <laughs> so make sure you stay with us, subscribe to another video, watch another video, or subscribe to the channel, watch another video here, and let's discuss via Discord.